Here we are with Brandon Moore. Fre- you look great. You look great. Fresh off an explosive knockout over Elijah McCall here in uh, Kissimmee, Florida, outside of Orlando. Uh, first of all, before we get into, you know, the future, whatever, tell us about the fight, what you saw in there in the first round, and what led to the knockout. Man, I knew I could hit him with my jab. Um, he's like one of these He's like really like all the heavyweights. I knew if I hit him with my jab, he was going to eventually, I'm chipping at the tree. And I saw the opening. He threw it. He threw the left hook. I don't know if you saw, he threw the left hook. I went up under it, and then he threw it again. He hit me with the left hook first, and then he threw it again. Hit, the, hit him with the right hand, coming up under. Bang. Mop stick in his face. Obviously, you're still undefeated, 12-0, eight knockouts now. Uh, and a knockout like that, is, is this the, the catalyst that you know, will you know, catapult you? What else do I got to do? What else do I have to do? Like, I, I've been flying to other continents to beat ass. I've been going to other states to beat ass. Um, I, I hope that this is the one that does it, that just gets me the big fight. You know, I'm not afraid to fight anybody in the entire world. So whoever wants it can get it. So I'm talking about, like, the, Phillip, the Phillips of the world, the Jareds of the world. The big baby Miller's all the way. It doesn't really matter. Like, whoever is the guy that thinks they want to take the risk, put them in there with me. Yeah, well, when we sit there in the broadcast, you know, there's, you know, guys are being recycled. We see the same names every time. You need a fresh face, right? You need a fresh face, right? Come on, man. They ain't never seen nothing like that. Imagine the crowd. You seen the crowd? This wasn't even like a crazy show. You see what the crowd did, right? Come on, you see what you're doing, I right? saw you. you feel the electricity in your soul, right? Come on, man. Yeah, my soul, yeah. I know you do. I know you do. Yes, sir. So, I, when you, obviously, you only got a round plus in tonight. Yeah. I mean, if, if one of those things doesn't develop, I mean, you want to get back right in there, even if it's a fight like this, just, just to keep staying busy? You know, man, these guys are scared of me, so I imagine I just got to keep staying busy, you feel me? But anybody that wants it, I mean, I really, hopefully, within the next month or two, you know, I'll get back in there again. But, you know, I'm just, re- hey, man, I'm really thankful and humble for the opportunity, you feel me? Thank you for Box Light. Thank you for just everybody that showed up. Super thankful, man. I mean, I can't do this without my crew, you feel me? So that's just what I am. That's who I am. What do you want to say to the fans in closing? Man, fans in closing, man. OJ Bam came. He did. He conquered. Um, I work hard. This is the real deal. I promise you that. That's going to look nice and pretty like that every time. So get at me. And we're at, lastly, where where we find you on the social media? Oh, social media, OJ underscore Bam. You feel me? I'm, um, that's where I'm at on, on Instagram, Twitter, OJ underscore Bam. That's me, OJ Bam, the whole way, the long way. Yes, sir. Congratulations. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Boxing World, for this. Yes, sir.